Welcome, Anthony Hudson with you. It's time for Sunday afternoon football. Bright sunshine here in Shanghai. And with me is legend of the game, Gary Lyon. Thanks, Hutto. Today should be a good match. Today we have St Kilda coming up against Port Adelaide. First onto the ground, and boy, do they look ready. The fans should be in store for a big game today. You're right, Hutto. The banners are ready for the players. It's a big day for Port Adelaide forwards. If they can get on top of the St Kilda defence, they'll go a long way to winning the game. Run on in full confidence, they're looking sharp, and the crowd are appreciating it. The banners look great as the players get set to run through them. The captains prepare for the toss of the coin. St Kilda kicking to the right of screen. Can't wait for this one to begin, and I think the crowd would agree too. They are on the edge of their seats. And here we go. It's St Kilda taking on Port Adelaide. Quickly onto the boot. Mark by Burton. Puts it on the boot. Kick by Butler. Does well to cut off the kick. Drives the kick hard. Nice work from Burn Jones. Elects to kick. Keeps it in play. Hits the post, and it's a minor. The margin is one. Looking to bring it back into play. A mark by Motlop. Slams it on the boot. Takes a nice mark. With a driving kick. A strong pack mark. Rockliffe kicks it. Mark by Hartlett. Moves it by foot. Good mark. And looks to send it back. Butler goes with the kick. A good mark under the circumstances. 50 metres out. Okay. Going for goal number one. St Kilda. Send one home. Loney loves that goal. And we have the first goal of the match. He knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. It's great to watch, Hutto. Plenty of excitement. Back in the middle. St Kilda have failed to get on top of the clearance, but it's how they can turn the ball over that is allowing them to score. Dunstan manufactures a handball with quick hands. Steele heads towards the goals. His teammates rush over. St Kilda with a dream start. Umpire ready to resume play. Guided down nicely by Abbott. Great control there. Slams it onto the boot. Ball spills. Billings picks up the loose ball. Burn Jones sees off Phillips. Drives it out of the pack. Ebert runs after this one. Sinclair kicks out of the congestion. Looks up with a kick. Finds a target. The kick goes out on the full from Cleary. 
Abbott running off for a break. Billings drives the kick. Dunstan determined to reach the ball. Interesting handball. He's got the football now. Just manufactures what he could. Uses a short handball. Quick hands. And they could be away here. Put his body on the line. Receives the handball and takes off. An easy grab for Dixon. Moves it on. Goes by foot. Good grab there from Jonas. Elects to kick it long. He takes the mark. Moved on by Rockcliffe. Ball gets cut off with the ball now. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Williams with the opportunity. Great grab. West off. Looks to convert this opportunity. 15 metres out. Going for goal number one. Smiles all round. Port Adelaide are on the board. It hasn't always been clean, but they've got the goal. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. Back in the middle, has the rucks go at it. Dixon won the duel. Ross gets the ball. Doesn't hold onto the mark. Uses the bump, scoops up the ball. This is Fern Jones. Good mark there. He drives it. Dug out the loose ball. Rosie, a bit too casual with the tackle. Wants to keep it moving. Watts gets a quick kick away. The ball rolls over the boundary line. Ball over the boundary line. Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gaz? This is a classic game we're seeing right now. There'll be a ball up close to goal. Marshall palmed it down. Going for goal number one. Just sneaks in from behind. Port Adelaide trailing by less than two goals. Plays onto himself. Marshall keeping it low. Hanabry clean from the half volley. Handballs. He wins possession. A chance to reload the attack now. He's a long way from home, but he might have the wheels. Westhoff kicking to tie the scores. Turned it over. Lobs the handball. Carlo gets his first possession. Phillips takes a strong mark. Uses it now. Takes a simple grab. Uses it by foot. Dixon controlling the airwaves on this occasion. Goes inside forward 50. Couldn't quite with the mark. It's a free kick for Port Adelaide. A kick to even up the scores. A solid mark from Watts. 15 metres out. Moving on. Going for goal number one. Drop punt straight through the middle. Watts celebrates with the fans. Scores a level. Back with another centre bounce. Dixon got in the better position. Eber keeps it moving. Power Pepper has the ball. Stepped off his line. Rosie uses it by foot, takes the mark all by himself. 40 metres out, the kick will be from a 45 degree angle. A good result there, and that's a goal for Port Adelaide. They get around him after that. St Kilda with a lot to think about as they trail by six. Port Adelaide deserve this lead early. They'd want to keep it up if they're going to win this. What can you tell us from the stats, Gaz?
Port Adelaide have created more turnovers than the opposition. It's creating perceived pressure. And a... The second term ready to get underway. Back in the middle to resume play. Hammers it. He's got the footy in his hands. Releases the handball. Rushes with the kick. Carlo got hands to it. Savage dug out the loose ball. A chance to put a second goal on the board. It's somehow pitched over the line, and it's a goal. He acknowledges the crowd. That's four in a row for Port Adelaide. Now they lead by 12. Thumps it clear. Finds the loose ball. Has a man running for him. Westhoff takes it well. Decides to go. Puts boot to ball. Ball picked up. We'll have another ball up. What do you make of the game so far, Gary? I'm liking what I'm seeing at the moment, Hutto. A great game of footy. Goes by hand. Penetrating handball. The kick from Hill. The mark has been taken. Gets a hand in. Picks up the loose ball. First possession for Patton. Moves the ball by foot. Marks in a bit of space. Port Adelaide have managed to rack up a big number of marks, and it's easy to see why they're leading this match. Finding the ball was Webster. Brown making his way onto the field. It'll be a ball up on the outer wing. Punches it clear. Lysette collects it. Has a runner alongside him. It's offline. Port Adelaide lead by 13. Marshall deciding where to go with the kick in. Mops up the loose ball. Finding the ball with ease. Gets some reward for his efforts. Port Adelaide have kicked the last five goals. 19 points the difference. My ball, says the umpire. Thrashes it. Gathered by Dunstan. Gets a hand to the ball. Gathers it now. Wins the race to the ball. Hacking it out of there. And the mark will be paid. Port Adelaide just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside 50. Brown couldn't complete the tackle. Marks now and can send it back. Sinks the slipper into it. Howard looks to get onto the football. Mocklock off the deck. Carlisle soccer's a kick. Dishes it off. Missed the target. Thank you. The umpire calls for the ball now. Can you tell us anything at the moment, Gaz? I'm loving what this game is giving us right now. Big thump from Lysette. He has the ball. Just gave it away. Gets the handball away. Just sends it into space. Watts got him high there. Savage moves it now. The ball mopped up. The boundary line wins. Ball back into play. Lysette thumps it forward. Brown kicks it out of the back 50. Hill unable to hold on. It's a turnover. Power just threw it. Sutcliffe with the opportunity in front of goal. The distance might be just beyond him. Ball collected. Trying to avoid everything out there. Hill gets him hard. Got boot to ball. Does well to keep it in play. And the ball ends up over the line. Toss back into play. Punched away. They can create from this. Robertson dug it out. He lays off the pass. Awkwardly got the handball out. Contests the hard ball. Butler presents and takes the mark. Port Adelaide haven't been in control. They've given up way too many uncontested marks and are letting the opposition set the pace. Looks like the ball will be coming back. Looks to move it by foot. Marking in space with Pal Pepper. Drives it out of defensive 50. Clurie hacks it forward. Ross looking to track down the footy. Loney couldn't stick the tackle. Just threw the ball. 
Butler has resources out wide. Pal Pepper was surrounded. He needed to mark it, and he did. Chose to kick it. It's a foot race to get this one. Ross wants to keep it moving by hand. Steele puts another one through. That's two now. Finding his feet in front of goals. Celebrating hard. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. Slips the handball to Motloff. Webster marks. Decides to kick. A chance to gather the ball. Steele gurns a free kick. Goes with the kick. Abbott has a great set of hands. Gets a touch to the ball. The bounce made it tough. He gains possession. Motlock goes for broke. Started the kick wide, and it never came back. Port Adelaide. Lee is now 14. Marshall looking for options now. Robertson grabs that one. Slams it on the boot. Picks it up. The loose ball picked up. That's holding the ball. Fails to fend off the tackler. Fantastic pressure there. He couldn't hang on. What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? This is a great game, Hutto, and we can just sit back and enjoy it. Right, put it. Clears the contest. Goes off the ground. He's worked hard and probably need half time and Port Adelaide have the lead by 14. Port Adelaide have controlled the play well and deserve this lead at half time. Time to take a look at the stats. St Kilda can't seem to find the footy. It's pretty simple. If they don't have the ball, they can't score. Thanks for that, Gaz. Still a half to play and with plenty of time left in this match, expect both sides to come out. The third quarter about to get underway. About to resume hostilities. Abbott with the hit. Kicks hurriedly. Just gets it onto the boot. Doing well with the mark. Hill elects to kick. Intercepts the ball well. Burton puts it on the boot. Hanover has it. Port Adelaide haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning total that way. Ends up turning this ball over. Rockley puts it on the boot. Pal Pepper drives the kick. Just put it on the boot. Gets the loose ball. Fighting hard was Savage. Gresham, the better man there. Keeps the kick low. Doing well to intercept that kick. Chose to kick it. Burton found a way to mark that one. Looks to move it by foot. Jones not getting much of it, Gaz. Yeah, he's having a real quiet match, Hutto. Off hands. Ross moves it by hand. Steele rushes with the kick. A chance to soccer it and kicks the goal. He loved that one. That's two in a row for St Kilda. St Kilda behind by eight. Abbott gets onto the ball. Puts on a bump. Kicks out of the congestion. Intercepted. He can take off after that handball. They can link up now. Rockley coming off for a spell. And we'll get a ball up. The players will be feeling it out there. Dunstan moves it by hand, and now they're away. Soccer's a kick. Taken well at ground level by Watts. Hands that ball to the opposition. Hurried kick. Lysette takes the mark. With a driving kick. Gets into some space to mark this. Port Adelaide have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. Handball's out in front. Sinclair gains possession. A low stabbing kick. Ball out of bounds on the wing. Hanbury coming onto the ground. Thrown in now. 
Dixon hurls it away. Charges with intent. Ebert puts on a big hit. Phillips won himself a free. Moves it by foot. Abbott uses the body well. Moves the ball by foot. He gives chase to the footy. Puts the handball out in front. The loose ball scooped up. Billings takes aim. Puts it right through the middle. He puts through his first goal. Congratulated by his teammates. St Kilda have kicked the last three goals. The Saints close the gap to two. Phillips wins the marking contest. Decides to kick. Steele leading the race to the loose ball. It'll be a ball up. Dixon won the hit out. Sinclair gathers it now. Sinks the slipper into it. Picked up by Dunstan. Dug out by Jones. Steele comes away with the ball. Has it now. That was sweet. They put through another. Another goal. He's kicked a couple now. He's enjoying that goal. Abbott clears the contest. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. It's very tense at the moment. Thump by Abbott. Dunstan looking a bit sluggish out there. Finds this and marks well. Going for goal number one. That one will really lift them. He's absolutely loving it. Why not? He celebrates hard after that. St Kilda doing well at the moment. That's a really good team goal. Some great ball movement there. You just knew they were going to score. The game is back underway. Swatson. Rockley keeps coming. A chance to reload the attack now. St Kilda are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Jones has resources out wide. They chase after the loose ball. Gets a quick kick away. Collects the loose ball. Now we've got a ball up. Abbott thumped it clear. Motlock sockers it forward. Did well not to confuse himself. What a brilliant tackle. Fantastic tackle. The contest, no match for him. Of course, Hunter. Dishes it off to a player on the run. A race for the loose ball. Ready. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. Abbott got a fist to it. Picked up now. Hanabry, the number one ranked player on the ground. He's having a fantastic game. Gathers it now. Rosie drops the mark. Steele with a penetrating handball. A bit too hard with a push, and it's a free kick. Got boot to ball. They chase after the loose ball. A lot of possessions for him. Releases by hand. Gresham tries his luck at goal. St Kilda, 44, play Port Adelaide, 33. St Kilda have been poor with their ball use. They've turned it over on too many occasions and it's allowing the opposition chances to score. What can you tell us at this stage, Gary? It's a really good contest out there right now and it's great to watch. He looks like he needs a spell. Hanabry, short by hand. Brown with an easy mark. Ten metres out. What a goal! Look at him, he really enjoyed that one. That is six in a row for St Kilda. Now they lead by 17. Port Adelaide could give themselves plenty of chances. They've got more marks inside 50. It's their finishing skills that's letting them down. St Kilda in front by 17 at the end of the third quarter. St Kilda fans will be hoping they can hold on and get a memorable victory today.
Let's see what the stats have to show. St Kilda are taking their chances in front of goal. We say it so often, but when you do the simple things right, it goes a long way towards winning. Thanks. Umpire ready to begin the final turn. We resume hostilities. Winning it was Abbott. The ball in the hands of Rockcliffe. Slick with the hands. Is in his possession. Takes possession. He gets his hands on the footy. Use the hands and gives away the free. Goes with the kick. Does well to cut off the kick. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. St Kilda forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. Movement by hand. The umpire will ball it up. What can you tell us, Gaz? There's some great skills on display right now. It's a great match. Moved on by Oak. Nice hands. Goes by foot. He gives chase to the footy. Well collected. Pow Perfect missed an opportunity to mark. Snaffled up by Steele. They can create from this. Goes short by hand. Handballs to a teammate on the run. It's a foot race to get this one. Great attack on the ball carrier. Finds his man. He slams it towards goal. Always looked like a behind. Ominous signs for St Kilda. Three goals up now. Jonas to bring it back into play. Over the top of the pack. He drives it. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. That's right, Hutto. He just can't seem to get into the game. Dunstan decides to soccer it. Keeps it moving. Ball gets cut off. Gets it away. He has the ball. Pow Pepper gets in the way. Hands that ball to the opposition. Turned it over. Great tackling technique. Burn Jones collects the loose ball. Well picked up. Off hands from Billings. Butler going for number one. What a lovely goal from there. They are starting to stamp their dominance on this game. Look at them celebrate that effort. They're looking more dangerous inside 50 now. Great reward for effort. He did really well there and gets the reward. Port Adelaide have had a stack of uncontested marks, but it's not working for them at the moment. They might need to change how they move the ball to increase their scoring. Doing well to intercept that kick. St Kilda have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. Intercepts the ball well. A spearing kick. Takes the mark. Kicks inside the 50. Takes that one strongly. 45 metres out. Going for goal number one. Strong mark in the contest. Sutcliffe from point blank range. He delivers with a drop punt. Pretty happy with that one. Port Adelaide reduced the margin. Centre bounce. Dixon thumps it clear. Clears the congestion. Ball off hands. Just goes bang. Hurried kick. Ross gets in a good position. Looks up with the kick. Open opportunity for Hill. St Kilda are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Oh, what a goal! Puts his second on the board. He's excited about that one. St Kilda, get the margin out to four goals. About to resume play. Thump clear. He gets his hands on the footy. Billings runs after the ball. Tough ball to handle. Collects the loose ball. He heads for home. Wow! How good was that? 
Sinclair couldn't be happier with that goal. St Kilda, 69. Lead Port Adelaide, 39. A great bit of play that resulted in that goal. This is how they can score Big Hutto. If they can do that on a consistent basis, it's massive. St Kilda have to be smarter with their ball use at times. At the moment, they're turning it over in the air too regularly for their liking. Ross slick with the hands. Rushes with the kick. Has to do better than that in the mark contest. Uses it now. Robertson looking to track down the footy. Sees off the tackler. Savage handballs. Collected by Boak. Manages to get a hand away. West off with a chance on the turnover. Just gave it away. Can already tell that's not so good. He looks injured. That doesn't look great. Looks unlikely he will see any further action. I agree with you there, Hutto. He's excited about that one. Port Adelaide now only trailed by 24. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see he's up and about now. A great bit of play that resulted in that goal. We're back in the middle now. Abbott with a big fist on it. Strong with the body and wins the mark. Puts it on the boot. Needs a bit of a rest. Kicks hurriedly. Ends up marking uncontested. St Kilda have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. The kick from Motlop. He wins the ball in the air. Dixon choosing to play on. Dixon throws the ball away. Abbott moves it now. Easily takes the mark. Sends the ball inside 50. Good opportunity for Port Adelaide to put a goal through here. Mocklot decides to go it alone. He's really turning it on now. He's got a couple now. Starting to get into this game. Look at him, he really enjoyed that one. It hasn't always been clean, but they've got the goal. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. Port Adelaide can't afford to be missing this many chances in front of goal. It might cost them the game. Hill grabs him up. Great tackle. What a win. What a comeback from St Kilda. One team will walk out pretty happy today, Hutto, and the other team will be disappointed at their missed chances. Final scores are 69 to 51. Well, that's all we have time for. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Gaz. It was great to be here, Hutto. I'll be back next time.